you got to have the right sauce. And this burger sauce is top notch and you're going to love this. And don't get me wrong. You can buy a container of burger sauce, go to the store, you'll find it there. But it's so much more satisfying when you can make it yourself. And this tastes 10 times better, in my opinion, than any sort of burger sauce you can just buy. We're going to start with one quarter cup of mayonnaise. Don't buy Miracle Whip, folks. Oh my goodness, all these people that buy Miracle Whip. You know what? You need to start with a blank canvas. Don't let some factory add in the little tanginess, add in this. Take some credit for what you do. Start with a blank canvas, mayonnaise, and then add your things to it. Don't get me wrong. You might be looking at the list. Ah, Des, you're using ketchup. You let a factory do that. You're using red hamburger relish. You're letting the factory do that. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of recipes out there that call for you creating something as a base with mayonnaise. Take a salad dressing, for example. And I don't want you to get in the habit of reaching for Miracle Whip. It drives me crazy. Can you tell? And so I just want you to use blank canvas mayonnaise and you take credit for all the stuff you add to it to create the complex flavors. We're going to add one quarter cup of ketchup. <laughs> Store-bought ketchup, letting a factory do it for me, right? So let's add that. Store-bought factory made at red hamburger relish. Let's add a quarter cup of that. So one quarter cup mayonnaise, one quarter cup ketchup, one quarter cup red hamburger relish. We're going to add one clove of garlic. Hey, you know what? If you're really a real big garlic lover, like raw garlic, go too close. But I've tried it. And after you eat your burger, like you got reeking garlic breath. If you want to go to and be a cowboy, go ahead and do that. But for me, I'm just going to cut off that hard bit. Take my knife, give it a whack. Minced or crushed with a press. You know what I'm doing. Crushed with a press. You can mince it, but I'm, I'm telling you now, if you're mincing it, you know, with your knife, make sure you're mincing it really fine. It's just easier with a press. You are pressing in the garlic directly into the sauce, capturing 100% of the juice of that garlic when it comes out into your burger sauce. And it just starts to make this something very unique now by having that in there. What is also going to make this unique and make it stand out, really bring some brightness to the burger, is the two teaspoons of red wine vinegar, along with a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper ground. And we're going to stir that all together, and that's going to create the most amazing burger sauce. Look at that. Beautiful. That has my name written all over it. Mmm. I need a napkin. Wow. Mmm. <laughs>